Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for May 7th, 2020. Yesterday, it was an interesting day. We had kind of a bull bear fight. It was just, you know, one of those cage matches, I guess, where the bulls and the bears just got in there and they just beat on each other. And we really didn't move around all that much until the end of the day, we really started getting a little bit more bearishness coming into the market. Now, what does that mean for this morning? Because we're looking at futures gapping up. Pretty interesting situation. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's dig into the technicals here and let's see how we might want to approach the market for today. Get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we have a complete contradiction to what we saw yesterday um, as we moved into the close. We had selling coming in, and if we take a look at this pattern right here on the Dow, this is a bit of an evening star pattern with a lower high being set in the market. So. Uh, honestly, I think um, quite a few people were thinking, hey, we're, we could be headed down, heading into these jobs numbers. And then this morning, um, we've had nothing but bulls. So we've got bullishness here this morning and we're gapping up um, this morning. We haven't taken out these, um, these uh, high points here in these lower highs, but a substantial gap up. And as a matter of fact, as I speak right now, we're currently up $321, um, 321 points in the Dow futures, suggesting this substantial gap up, a complete reversal of that bearish pattern yesterday. And it seems to be, well, it's just kind of interesting to me. It seems to be in complete defiance of what normal thinking people would would be looking at in um, these jobless claims numbers. Jobless claims are today, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit, but we are just in absolute defiance. We choose not to see what's going on in the jobless claims. Now, other than that, we have a uptrend here. If I kind of ignore this little signal here, um, we have an uptrend that has been broken and that possibility of a lower high in there. We want to also remember anytime we gap up in the morning, heading um, into a price resistance level, and I'm going to take this line and move this down because right into here is where we're going to be testing today. So we're gapping up into a resistance level in the chart, and that always gives me that little bit of pause that we could gap right up and find nothing but sellers there and then sell back off. So think about that. Be really careful about chasing into the market this morning until we really see whether or not the bulls are going to follow through um, and 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 push on through the opening. Now, we have a massive day of earnings. We'll talk about that in just a second. But right now, technicals uh, for the market are that the trend is still intact. If we take a look at our moving averages here, 50-day moving average, we're still holding above the 50-day moving average, even though we have a bit of a technical price action problem here, we are still holding trend. We are still overall being controlled by the bulls here in the market. I think there is a little bit of that bearishness starting to work itself in, and that may be the case as we head into those jobless numbers and then that big employment situation number on Friday that's expected to be really horrific. So um, keep those things in mind as you prepare for your day and think about how you might want to approach this. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also had that little bit of a bearish look um, yesterday at the close where we created that lower high and we had a bearish engulfing candle showing up here. And now this morning we are gapping up, trying to defy um, just anything um, in the market that suggests that, um, well, anything that would suggest that we care about jobless <laughs> joblessness. Um, it's been really remarkable um, when we have um, historic levels of unemployment and the market has 
has been an absolute complete defiance as if don't tell me about that bad news. I don't want to hear it. Um, I, I, I'm going to pretend it's not out there. I'm going to pretend it's not going to have any impacts on the overall market. But there it is, and that's what we're looking at this morning. So we're defying that once again this morning, showing bullishness here in the market. Trends continuing to uh, be bullish, holding above their 50-day moving average. We take a look at the SPY, SPY, same situation. Whoops, all right, look at the SPY, Qs. Qs, different situation here. Qs have been absolutely bullish. Uh, I mean, just relentlessly bullish. Um, even though we've seen um, earnings reports where um, our earnings growth is actually uh, negative um, on the year, market doesn't seem to care the bulls are pushing anything tech up and what was happening yesterday is tech big tech was about all that was moving the smaller tech was um pretty pretty soft weak actually the breath of the breath of the market was pretty weak and it was big tech really holding things up and now this morning we're just going to defy gravity here and uh, we're going to defy jobless claims and everything else and we're going to gap up this morning maybe even to a new high here on the queue so keep an eye on that pretty remarkable price action uh considering the, the data that's out there let's take a look at iwm now iwm really has been kind of struggling along here um, holding above um, this interesting little support area that support area comes in on the right here around those 2018 lows now it looks like I really should adjust that up just a tiny little bit there's probably a wick down there but um, you can see we're just dancing around trying to hold right on that level of support this morning once again um, with the bullishness in the market we're trying to move higher but not as um, energetic here in IWM as we are on the other indexes so IWM continues to be a bit of a problem for the market and just kind of languishing behind but the good news is it is holding above its 50-day moving average and it is holding that price support level in the chart I'm going to move that line back down again just right in there right in there that is a critical area if we were to break that area to the downside there could be some problems here but as long as we continue to hold everything is bullish let's take a look at the VIX interestingly enough the vix rallied yesterday we had a little bit of pushback up a little bit of fear creeping into the market what changed overnight i really don't get it i honestly don't the thing is i don't have to i don't have to get it i just have to follow price action but that's what's going on now yesterday i mentioned that we are continuing to hold this downtrend and that's still true we're holding this downtrend but we do have this possibility of that little higher low in here I suspect this morning's gap up is going to push us back down in here toward those lows or maybe even break that low where we may push back down toward this low area in the chart. If we find some support there, let's just watch carefully for that. And what that would mean is that we would gap up into price resistance and this was just kind of a bluff by the institutions to get as many people to rush in as possible and then we find sellers um, up there. Now, I don't don't know if that's the case but today sets up as one of those perfect opportunities for that pop and drop pattern that may not occur but we want to be aware of that and be careful not to chase in first thing this morning let's take a look at t2122 the four week new high new low ratio what was interesting yesterday is t2122 um, had started to move back up but then at the end of the day we kind of turned lower so t2122 is now approaching that area down in here where we could be reaching that bullish reversal zone so maybe that is helping the market here we'll want to watch that closely but this morning's gap up likely going to bring us up sharply in this chart um, i would guess probably clear up in this area on this gap up this morning so kind of an interesting turn of events overnight and i really can't point to anything that suggests why that is occurring that being said, that 
that always gives me a little bit of pause as I approach the morning market. I want to make sure when the market opens, we actually have bulls following through buying um, this morning before I do much of anything. As a matter of fact, what uh, might be the case, it might be a really good opportunity to just take some profits um, in the market. So that gaps are gifts. So if the market's going to gap up for us, maybe we might want to take a few gains um, in this morning's market. Let's take Take a look at our economic calendar for today, and here's this is where the big the big numbers are going to be coming from. Um, what we're going to be watching for, we've got the jobless claims here at 8:30 a.m. this morning. They are expecting more than three million people again to file for unemployment claims, putting us well over that 30 million mark in joblessness. But the market doesn't care. Um, we have productivity and costs that come in after that. We do have a natural gas report. Not expected to move the market around at all. Keep in mind we have Fed speakers, three Fed speakers here um, that um, we'll want to be paying attention to today. And we also have later on today the Fed balance sheet, which uh, I'm not sure that's going to move the market. Uh, market seems to love the fact every time we go further and further into debt. So the Fed balance sheet growing exponentially, but nobody really cares. Um, so let's keep an eye on those reports. And remember, tomorrow morning before the market opens, this should be part of your planning for today. Tomorrow before the market opens, we have the employment situation number. That number is likely to be historic. So keep an eye on that and think about how you're going to control your risk around that number tomorrow. And perhaps we just simply ignore it. You know, who knows? We might just simply ignore that number tomorrow and pretend it didn't happen. So let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. And we have just a gigantic earnings calendar today with over 750 companies reporting um, this morning. Far more than I can actually cover um, here in the morning, but a few of the notables that you might want to keep an eye on um, ADT is reporting uh, this morning. We have Bud reporting this morning. Looks like they're gapping up this morning. Bud is moving up. Baidu. Baidu will be reporting today. Looks like it is trying to, well, no report here, it looks like. We're just kind of floating around here uh, this morning. BHC is not BHC is reporting this morning. Um, looks like it is indicating just slightly lower this morning. CTB, Cooper Tires, um, will be reporting big, wide, bid-ass spread here right now. Denny's reporting today. Um, nothing going on here yet this morning. Um, STMP uh, built will be reporting. This has been shooting up here, obviously. Stamps.com not getting much of an effect um, uh, from the coronavirus and looks like it's gapping higher this morning. Um, IRM, Iron Mountain, will be reporting. It looks like they are gapping up off of kind of a triple bottom here. So some kind of an interesting pattern to keep a look at. Um, Roku, Roku was a beautiful little chart, and I honestly probably would be holding this if it not for the um, earnings reports. Um, and you can see it's indicating just slightly higher this morning. Uber, um, Uber is reporting this morning. Um, and looks like Uber is moving slightly higher, even though their numbers are uh, terrible. So, um, the capacity for this market to just kind of ignore um, what's going on out there, the reduction of earnings and capacity um, just is truly remarkable. But that's what's going on, and we are continuing to defy all the odds pushing higher. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up, things that you might want to be paying attention to um, in the market. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could... Um, click that subscribe button here on YouTube. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, click on that subscribe button. And then I'll also click on that bell icon. Um, 
you know, I try to do the best job I can in putting these videos out every day to just set aside bias, set aside um, everything and just really look um, the emotion of the day and just look at the technicals of the charts. And if you find that to be helpful, looking at the technicals, you know, in my blog this morning, and you might want to take a look at that, my blog this morning, um, there will be a link in the description below if you want to read that. But I, I said, you know, one of the great things about being a technical analyst is I don't have to understand what the market's doing. The market can be irrational. What I have to do is follow the price action of the chart. And if I can set aside my bias, if I can focus on the price action of the chart rather than what I want the market to do or what I think the market should do and just trade the chart I see, I do much, much better as a trader. So if you want to take a, um, um, a read to that, just click that link um, in the description and you'll be able to get to that. Also, if you find these videos to be helpful, please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Um, comment. It helps us a lot and continue to grow the channel. Thank you very much, everyone who does take the time to do that. You're, you're truly awesome. I, I'm humbled by, um, by the comments. Thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at a few stocks. Now, there's quite a few. There's more stocks than you can potentially trade right now. They're showing good bullish patterns. Take a look at PAYS. PAYS has been doing very, very well. And I'm going to go to uh, what I call a naked chart here so we can see it clearly. And what you can see here in this chart is we have a very bullish pattern where the stock has been rallying up strongly. Um, in this pattern and a nice little pullback consolidating move where we held price support here and now we have buyers trying to step up in here. I would want to caution just a little bit all this resistance that we show in the chart above but PAYS definitely showing bullishness and that pink line up there is an alert that I have on the chart. GlaxoSmithKline is another interesting chart where we have done a great job here where we consolidated right here in this down move and now we're consolidating right here in this up move leaving us this inverted head and shoulders pattern that could be setting up and I keep watching this um, for that potential that this will pop out that pink line is my alert looks like this morning it is indicated just slightly lower here this morning so we're going to continue this consolidating move in here um, we'll want to watch that closely though some good patterns in these charts take a look at IBRT. If you guys caught the video the other day, you saw this one ahead of this move. And this move popping out on the alert, looking very, very strong. iRobot looks like it wants to even move higher this morning. So iRobot looking very, very good to that upside move. Uh, take a look at Humana. Humana tried to pop through that resistance, found some bearers yesterday pushing it back down. So a little bit of a pause here on this, why we continue to consolidate this breakout up here. Keep a close eye on this. This could go either direction. We want to pay attention to this closely. If we were to fail this little wedge pattern drop down in here, that could turn it this bearish. But if we hold in here and pop back up, um, look for Humana maybe to move higher in that circumstance. Other charts all over the place like Home Depot. Home Depot showing lots of strength moving up here um, in this chart, breaking through resistance levels, holding them as support. Popped up through here an, an alert and now we're resting, gonna pull back over here toward the trend it looks like. Watch for that next upside move here in Home Depot. Places that you might look for short trades. If you guys remember, I mentioned AMD yesterday as a potential short. There's that lower high showing here in the chart and it really started to play out yesterday pushing back down but now here this morning we're trying to gap back higher so um, who knows but there's that lower high and these failures up here that are a little bit of a concern and a break of the uptrend and struggling right there at that resistance point. So keep an eye on AMD. Um, FD, FDX, FedEx, also putting in kind of a, 
Um, bearish pattern here. We're breaking support here in this chart, potential lower high, um, evening star pattern, looking rather bearish here on FedEx. You might want to keep an eye on that. Even saw like Starbucks, Starbucks looking a bit short, um, starting to make that lower high here in the chart, breaking the downtrend. This is holding on to this support right there. So we could still bounce off of that level. But if you're looking for a short trade, it might be one of those places to look. So quite a few of those um, around the market here. Um, we also have plenty of plenty more longs. They're just longs are everywhere. Uh, Visa, Visa holding up, as you can see, beautiful hold here in trend, popping through this alert that I have. We're going to consolidate this a little bit more. Looks like Visa is trying to gap up this morning, getting that bullishness. And we want to watch this resistance level right here in the chart as well. Um, eBay, eBay, very, very strong, popping through my alert here, moving on up, just continuing to fly. PZZA, PZZA um, had one of their best quarters ever um, benefiting from the coronavirus. You can see holding um, an incredibly strong trend, popping through my alert, looking good. Um, everything is coming up roses here, or coming up pepperoni, I guess, or something <laughs> for PZZA. So with that, everyone, there's a few stocks for you to look at. Um, lots going on today, huge day of earnings, uh, jobless claims numbers. Right now, futures, as I close down this video are up 330 points. We don't care about no stinking unemployment. We want to go up. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Thank you very much for watching the video. And um, I thank you for the kind comments that you leave behind. Take care, everyone. Be safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning.